Hey everybody, it's Mr. Enyart here with lesson four from grade six, interpreting and computing division of a fraction by a fraction uh, with some more models. So some prereq uh, information we want to be able to do is simply be able to find equivalent fractions. This usually helps to bring it to simplest form or to bring it into a mixed number from an improper fraction. So what I've done here is I have written four sixths and six ninths as equivalent fractions to each other and two thirds. So keep in mind to find an equivalent fraction, you multiply or divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So as you can see, what we did on this is we did times two. And we have to do the same thing on the denominator that we did on the numerator. And then the other side, when we went all the way to the 9, that was times 3. And, of course, we're doing the same thing here with our 2 at times 3. So some options for 10 twelfths would be dividing both numbers by 2, which is how I got 5 sixths. When I see that, that is called bringing it to simplest form because now I can no longer divide the 5 and the 6 by any other numbers. Then I multiplied times 3 from 5 sixths to get 15 eighteenths. So it is safe to say that all three of these are equivalent fractions. Now the last thing I want to do is just work through example one with you uh, with a model and of course I first want to start by reading the question and then figuring out what's going to go first. Just because this number comes first and this number comes second doesn't necessarily mean uh, this number comes first in the math problem or this number does. So feel free to pause the video, read it yourself and try this yourself but uh, I am going to go over it now. So pause the video if you need to. Okay, here I go. Molly has one and three-eighths cups of strawberries. She needs three-eighths cup of strawberries to make one batch of muffins. How many batches can Molly make? So what am I starting with here? Am I starting with three-eighths cups of strawberries and then I'm changing that amount by this? Or am I starting with one and three-eighths cups of strawberries and changing that amount using three-eighths cups? I am taking 1 and 3 eighths first. So the first problem, uh, the first number I will write is 1 and 3 eighths. And then it looks like I am trying to figure out how many 3 eighths are within my 1 and 3 eighths. And this seems pretty simple um, to be a division sentence. So I am dividing my 1 and 3 eighths into smaller groups of 3 eighths. And I want to know what is that. So this is my number sentence. So for problems like this where I'm taking a fraction and dividing a fraction, I like to use number lines uh, because I can very quickly and easily plot where 1 and 3 eighths would be, which of course would be right here. So this blue marks my 1 and 3 eighths because it is one whole and then it is three more eighths over. And as you can see, I've just divided a one and a two into eight equal pieces. So now I'm going to use a green to represent my groups of three eighths that it takes to get to my one and three eighths that I can make out of that. So I'm just gonna kinda outline one group of three eighths like this, and then I'm gonna outline another group of three eighths like this, and then I'm gonna continue to do this, and then I recognize well, this is not a group of 3 eighths. I can't. i got to stop here, right? So what I see is I have one, two, three full groups of 3 eighths that I can make. And then I've got two out of three pieces it takes to make the amount I'm trying to. So I know that my leftover is going to be 2 thirds. But how does that work out mathematically? Let's break that down. To work it mathematically, I want to rewrite it by multiplying the reciprocal of what I'm dividing. 
So I'm not changing the amount of strawberries I have. I have one and three eighths. However, it's gonna be hard to multiply a mixed number like this. So what I wanna do is I want to rewrite it as an improper fraction so that I simply have a numerator and a denominator. So I'm gonna do eight times one, which is eight, plus my three, which is 11. So I have 11 eighths, and then instead of dividing, I'm going to change my division to multiplication, and then I'm going to write the reciprocal of this number. The reciprocal is the, I th think of it as inverted, and this is on lessons 1, 2, and 3, if you look at those. But it would be 8 over 3, because that would end up being uh, multiplied by 3 eighths would give me 1. Now I simply multiply across. 11 times 8 is 88, and 8 times 3 is 24. I can see both of those can be simplified. In fact, they can be simplified uh, by, so 88 can be divided by eight and 24 can be divided by eight, giving you 11 thirds. And I can put three threes into 11, which is nine, leaving me two. So that allows me to take out three holes, which leaves me two thirds. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I solve this problem.